Hey guys, Eric here from worshipbanduniversity.com and today we're going to take a look at how to create a click track in Ableton Live. Now we already know how to turn on the metronome and set our BPM and basically use that with any song that we have here, but let's say for some reason you don't want to use the built-in metronome from Ableton. What we're going to do is we're going to turn it off and we're going to insert our LCQ pack which we downloaded from loopcommunity.com. Once we do that, what we're going to do is basically the same thing we did when we created a vocal track. I'm going to highlight the first measure over here, right click, insert MIDI clip. And once I do that, I'm going to double click on it. And on the bottom, it's going to open up my LC drum pack over here. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom, and I'm going to see that I have a click and an accent available to me. Now I'm going to unmute that so we can hear it. And I'm going to turn on my draw tool. So, and the click accent sounds like this. Now what I would do is I would recommend putting the number one beat being the click accent and all the rest of them the regular click. And what that's going to do is it's going to tell you where the one is every time the beat comes up. So now that I did that, I'll go back to the beginning of the song and listen to the click that I made. But now you can see that it doesn't go through the rest of the song because I need to basically make a click for the rest of the song. Now if I do each individual box over here, that's going to take forever. But fortunately, Ableton's really super smart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my MIDI track here and go right to the right of it where that little kind of L-shaped kind of little box comes from. I'm going to click and drag it to the right pretty much to the end of the song. I'm just going to do it over here for now. What that basically did was that just copied my first box into all the rest of these. So now if I go back to the beginning again and I listen to it, you can hear that my accented one and then the rest of the click it goes through the entire song. So that's the easiest way to basically make a click. Uh, you can do that right on the fly. Um, it really works fantastic. Again, I'm more of a fan of using the metronome that's built into Ableton, but again, for maybe some reason you want to accent a certain beat or something a little different, hey, this is really the way to go and it's really easy to do. So have some fun with this, make a couple click tracks, and we'll see you guys next time.